Everybody's Tyler here at the Las Vegas Regional checking in with team number 6647. Prepatech Voltec coming in out of Mexico. This team had a great performance just a couple weeks ago, looking for big things uh, here as well, too. And to help me talk more about this robot, I have Roberto, Isaias, Juan Pablo, and Jocelyn. And we're going to be going through on this uh, interesting kind of a drawbridge uh, indexing system here. So can't wait to show more about something like that. Uh, but we'll follow that full cargo journey, talk about the climber, all here coming up on Behind the Bumpers. Your destination for first content, updates, and gaming. Welcome, Welcome to the fun. First updates now, supported by Stryker Careers. If you are a college student or recent graduate looking for an incredible internship, take a look at Stryker. Stryker provides a housing stipend, great pay, and an opportunity to work with state-of-the-art medical technology equipment. Discover why so many first alumni are coming to Stryker for their internship or career at careers.stryker.com. If you are planning on attending the World Championship, come meet others in the fun and FRC Discord community with our combined meetup on Friday, April 22nd at 11 a.m. local. Location will be announced closer to the event, and you can stay updated by following in either the fun or FRC Discord. Hey, Beto, we're going to start off uh, with your intake and robot. Talk to me what's gone into it. Uh, any iterations that you might have made throughout the season or uh, between competitions, anything like that? Well, uh, we might begin with the 2020 competition. We first had the idea of a piston-powered uh, 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 indexer, sorry, intake, uh, when we went into the 2020 competition. However, we didn't have that much uh, of a developed idea. So uh, once after the 2020 competition passed, we decided to develop it into a four bar mechanism. And uh, we had also a prototyping phase in which we also uh, decided which will be the height of the intake and uh, which wheels were we gonna use. Uh, an, important, an important thing that we can say that uh, influenced the design uh, process is that uh, we depend upon the the bumper so the, the ball can enter. The compliant wheels uh, offer the best uh, compression so that can happen. And we designed the uh, intake so it can uh, receive balls from either this side or, this, or that side. That's why we have these uh, mechanical wheels. Uh, Cueto? Yeah. So it's uh, all about compression that you said with yeah, the different wheels coming in? About compression and about being able to receive balls from this side or this side. Uh, we had a mentor which said to us once that the key to success when making it takes uh, is that we can receive a ball and the first ball we touch, we can have it into our uh, mechanisms. We also had a problem while uh, assembling the whole robot. And the thing is that we, we had these other compliant wheels here and here. Uh, however, uh, we had this gap and it was uh, pretty large so the ball uh, couldn't enter, so we decided to change it from the four uh, inch uh, compliant wheels to the six uh, inch uh, Andimark wheels. Now, uh, then it enters the, the, sorry, the indexer, and that's uh, the field of my friend. Yeah, so let's talk a little bit more about the indexer. Uh, I'd love to hear more about uh, the rope on here as well oh. too, and then let's go into your shooter as well. Well, ah, uh, yeah, the rope. We uh, also decided, well, no, this was a, a thing of practice. We first thought that while designing the indexer, uh, having these two, uh, these two sheets uh, in the sides will permit the ball to remain in center. However, when we turned uh, very violently, it bounced off. So at the end, we decided simply to add the rope so it will keep inside the uh, indexer. Okay, let's go into your shooter then. Isaiah's going to talk a bit more about that. Uh, so you guys got a, uh, a pretty big flywheel here. So talk to me about just what's gone into that uh, and how it's been working out and anything you've been doing to try to uh, mitigate backspin as well too. Okay, well, first, uh, uh, when, in, when the ball comes into the indexer and they uh, stuck over here, we start, like, the, the mechanism is to start to get function. Cueto, puedes prender la torreta? If you see over here, what happens is like the first wheel starts to rotate and spinning, and this is uh, stuck. The, why it happened this? It's because we decide that it's a better option to start with one wheel spinning, and uh, when this wheel starts and get until a specific RPM, 
the other wheel start spinning as well, just to throw the ball and be able to throw many balls as possible in the most short of time. Uh, where do you like to shoot from on the field? What's kind of like your, your, your sweet spot to shoot from? Um, we don't have like a specific, it's more like sensation from the drivers because we can, with this shooter, we can shoot whenever we want in, in the part we want. But obviously uh, in, the, in the code, we decide like how much uh, strength we, we need to put into how the shooter uh -huh, and how much RPMs we need to put. So we can shoot whatever we want on the lower, on the upper and in which the area we want. Especially uh, the best one. The best one will be uh, firing from the uh, edge of the tarmac and inside the tarmac. However, well, yes. Juan Pablo, let's talk about the uh, climber as you go in. What's gone into that? Uh, looks like a mid-level climber to me, but let's hear a little bit more. Uh, what's gone into it? Any customization you might have done? Yes, this is a mid-level uh, climber. We were planning on, uh, on making it um, climb all up to the traversal rung, but due to um, space, as you can see, there's too little space here. We decided to just use um, this elevator uh, to get to the mid trunk. Um, again, because of space, the motor that uh, powers the whole climber cannot um, be in the center. So this is connected to both climbers. And if, here's a track of, of chains that end up um, powering the climber. As you can see, it is a there is a both a physical and software limit so that the the, the elevator doesn't doesn't break. Well, let's wrap up on your robot talking about your electronics that going in. You got a nice, uh, uh, great, uh, compact setup here. So, uh, Jocelyn, tell me more about what's what's gone into it and why it's so important to have clean electronics on your robot. Yeah. So at first in the season we decided, okay, maybe if we keep our electronics all inside a box then we can actually transport it to anywhere we want it. But after designing the robot, we realized that there was a bit of a trouble with the space. So we had to improvise really fast. And we said, OK, uh, cars, actual cars that we see on the streets, have this kind of hood. And in there, you can access everything at any time you want. So we said, OK, maybe we can implement these, things, these mechanics from the car into our robot. And that's where the idea started of uh, elevating our indexer at a certain height so we can actually access the electronics from every part that we want at any time of the that we can practice and well in here we can see everything it's really accessible and you can observe it at any angle that you want and when this goes down we just we just put it inside and, he, and here's the indexer so the indexer has two functions we pass the balls through and we also have the all the electronics underneath it well, Prepatech Voltec uh, looks like a fantastic robot. Like I said, you had a good performance your first event. Looking for a uh, uh, big performance here as well, too. So good luck to the rest of the competition, and thanks for taking the time. Thank you. Thanks to Stryker Careers for their support in this video. If you are a college student or recent graduate looking for an incredible internship, take a look at Stryker. Stryker provides a housing stipend, great pay, and an opportunity to work with state-of-the-art medical technology equipment. Discover why so many FIRST alumni are coming to Stryker for their internship or career at careers.stryker.com. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Watch our live shows at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Join our Discord at discord.gg forward slash first updates now. And check out Fun FTC on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And First Updates Now on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter.